Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Mercury and Mars. If you'd like to get your own reading with me, the email and the website, as well as a PayPal link to purchase is in the box below. Go ahead and shoot me an email upon purchase. Let's get into the cards for this lovely end of June and the beginning to the 7th of July. Okay, so June, end of June to the 7th of July, all right? All right, so I pulled five of pentacles, the eight of pentacles reversed, and the seven of cups reversed. Let's pull five cards from this deck and see what's going on with your love life. Knight of cups, magician, and the ace of wands, and the nine of swords. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm feeling a lot of confusion, uh, Capricorn. I see here that you really want to manifest either a relationship or a reunion with someone, but I feel like for a lot of you, the other person's not putting in enough effort, okay? This also could be a friend, uh, you know, falling out with a friend or a family member who you really want to reunite with, I see here, but there is some issues, you know, internal and external, Capricorn, Nine of Swords, something's causing too much anxiety, you need to let it go. Let's pull some Romance Angel on that. Trust and very soon. So I feel this is like trust that very soon, Capricorn. You are going to get some kind of message, I feel, here. Some kind of sign from spirit, some kind of message from this person. Multiple people, okay? If there's more than one person you had a falling out with... I feel like you're going to hear from them. Or, you know, we are Mercury retrograde, so I feel especially because of that fact, there's a high possibility, a high chance of it, okay? Soulmate and attraction. Wow. So also for the single Capricorns, there is a soulmate coming towards you very soon. What signs do we have on that? Three of swords. Okay. Oh, seven of swords, eight of cups, and five of wands. Wow. Capricorn, there is somebody who is really causing some issues here some friction some chaos some anxiety okay that nine of swords is extremely dominant in the energy of the cards i pulled for you very dominant where's that card i just wanted to pull it there it is ten of cups yeah that card wanted to come out okay so this is what you really want like what you really want capricorn is i feel stability you know harmony with with people around you um, this even feels like this could be work. Maybe there's a lot of conflict at work or you're just not happy with what's going on at work. Um, whether you work for yourself or other people or both. Okay, you work, you know, nine to five, but you also have your own side hustle, et cetera, et cetera. There's something here about a lot of conflict. Like maybe this is bad time management or just people not hearing you out. You feel like people are not hearing you, Capricorn. People are not responding positively to you like that's how you feel right now that's how you feel with deception we have deception what's that deception card about chemistry deceptive okay so you're not trusting someone capricorn you're not trusting someone and um i have a sneaky feeling that they don't trust you either i don't know why but i get a sneaky feeling that this person does not trust you either okay Death card, Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio. Could be any water sign. I see a lot of water. I see a lot of water. Yeah, this is somebody you have history with. Six of Cups. You know this person like the back of your hand. They know you. So this is like a childhood friend, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. Like, you guys have history. You have history. Now, if it's family, of course. But especially if it's um a water sign. Oh, yeah. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's conflict there. Wow, the earth signs are getting really tough readings for July. I don't know why that's that's that is. Maybe the retrograde is affecting the earth signs a little bit harder because a lot of the earth sign, I just did the Taurus reading and that reading was pretty uh, complex too. So if you have Taurus in your chart or you want to check out that reading, I'll link it towards the end and it's on my channel. Just scroll through and you'll see it, all right? Uh, this also could be an Aquarius, Magician, Libra. Okay, this also could be a Libra. All right. Conflict, conflict, Capricorn. Something's deceptive. You know, I have the deception card and I have the seven of swords. Something's just very deceptive here. Okay, take it or leave it. It's general love message. Don't have to, uh, you know, get tight one about it. 
there's thousands of videos on the internet to watch for July. So, um, yeah, I just feel like this is what I'm seeing. So there is someone attracted to you, but they have devilish ways, you know, or you have devilish ways. Hey, ha, huh, you are the Capricorn. The devil card is the Capricorn. So you're not the devil. This is just your card, right? So it's showing that this is your, this is your card, Capricorn. It's just showing that you are present in your reading, obviously, which is a good sign because then it really aligns for whoever this resonates with. Okay, so you're wanting to, I feel, manifest harmony. You're wanting to manifest new beginnings, but I just really feel like people around you could be more honest with you, you know, more upfront and communicate with you. And I feel Capricorn that you feel you're not heard. You know, you feel like you're being misunderstood. Now, Mercury retrograde tends to do that. You know, the Mercury retrograde does tend to have us um, sometimes have, you know, falling outs and, you know, petty arguments. It, it does happen. So I would definitely say that. Um, oh, and also Mars, you know, Aries went into Mars. So there's a lot of energy here of, of uh, you know, battle. So. What is the solution? Because I, I just see a lot of people involved here. If this is a third party, if you think this is a third party, this most likely is because I see a lot of people here. I see a lot of people here in this equation right now. Okay. A lot of people. Uh, nine of Wands. Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Something's got you trapped, Capricorn, and you need to go ahead and free yourself. You know, I, I it almost feels like wanting to rehash the past to get closure. If that's if that resonates with you, um, but something about it just seems like it's going to lead into like more, you know, drama, more chaos. So maybe you want to reconsider trying to get back with that person. You know, Six of Cups and the Devil. You may want to reconsider getting back with that person, Capricorn, because they may not be the best person for you is what I feel, to be honest with you. They may not be what they say they are, even though you're attracted. So just be careful in general. What signs should you be careful of this month? Let's just go ahead and look into that. What signs should you watch out for, Capricorn? Let's clean up these cards here. What signs should you look, what should you uh, be careful of? Because for some reason, the earth signs have this energy of like needing to be cautious I don't know what's going on, but uh, that's what I get. I keep getting that. So, um, you know, take it or leave it. Just the messenger. Alrighty. So who should Capricorns look out for, be aware of? Like, what should they avoid? Uh, Aquarius. I keep getting Aquarius. So be careful of a fellow uh, Earth sign female, like yourself, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or an Aquarius. There's some deception there. There could be, I feel, third party or just gossip, honestly. I see that you're trying to, like, you're trying to revive something, but, but but I feel like spirit's trying to have you let go of it because it's toxic, but you're not, you're not listening. You're not, you're not wanting to let go of it. And so the more you hold on to this heartache, Capricorn is the more problems you have. So you have to release it into the wild, you know, let it go. Just let it, let it go you know, manifest a, a better outcome, you know, ace of pentacles, because right now, all I see is the, the conflict, you know, wanting to achieve this, but you cannot get the, you cannot get the five of wands from the 10 of cups, it doesn't work that way, you cannot keep having drama and conflict, and then want to have the 10 of cups, like if a person's constantly arguing with you, um, it's, it's gonna be very difficult to want them to, to make this person see your side of the story is what I'm getting, okay? So take that how you will, but I just feel that you're trying to like defend yourself, defend yourself, defend yourself, Capricorn, and it's, they're not listening, okay? It could be the retrograde making this happen, but I just really feel like, you know, your your abundance, you know, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, I really feel like, Capricorn, your abundance is elsewhere. It's not in this equation. Whatever this person, whoever, whatever, it's not, it's not over there, okay? You have to shift your focus away from that, like, the battle has already finished okay the war is already finished like this this conflict is it's like if you if you keep poking the bear this person keeps poking you it's going to be a problem so i would definitely say avoid drama this could be a leo that you're having problems with this could be a sagittarius you're having problems with aries leo sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio capricorn virgo taurus i don't really see any drama with any air signs but i do see it with um fire earth and water okay so be aware of that 
the past people from the past could want to come back in the equation but it's 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 a no-go capricorn i would say just avoid it okay block it put your thing on private you know don't answer back because um they're they're coming back to start trouble with you whoever this person is i'm picking up they're coming back to have problems with you capricorn and it's just a bad bad situation okay they're only going to cause more heartbreak so just forget it unless this person can prove to you and show you that they want to be in your life um you know then you can move forward you know if this person's reaching out to you first then that's a good sign but if you're the person trying to run to this person and say hey you know let's talk and they're giving you you know bold face lies then you know it's the same old same old so capricorn this is what i have for you i see money i see i see success but i also do see drama unfortunately so make sure that you get rid of these people in in your in your you know seven of swords people who are tricky liars you know thieves like be careful of your money as well like something about that doesn't seem right with the earth with the earth signs for july i don't know what it is I, I, maybe other readers are picking this up too but for some reason the earth signs for july are getting some really really weird vibes you know weird energy so this person I see coming back is only gonna only trying to come back to start problems with you. So I would say decline the call, ignore them until until you feel that that they're matured Capricorn and they're ready to commit to you. I would definitely say get the hell out of Dodge. All right, the emails in the box below to get your private reading with me. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video, Capricorn. Keep it rocking. Bye.